Hello and welcome to Basic Computer Help. Today I'm going to show you how to use the disk cleanup utility in Windows. I will be using Windows Vista, but Windows XP is nearly identical. Same thing for 98 and 95 if you guys are still using that. Um, the only difference with Windows Vista over the other ones is this screen you see right here. You can you have the option to clean out just your files or do the files from all users on the computer. You need to be an administrator, so you'd have to approve that. So for right now, I'm just going to do my files only. Click that, and it'll go through this list. It likes to hang up on system error memory dump files. So I'm going to pause this until it's done. okay we're back this is the results that you get at the end and all I've got is download program files temporary internet files and offline web pages I don't know why that's always got 449k but even if you remove it for me at least it stays there um I get this question because with Windows Vista you got this the hibernation file cleaner if you have hibernation enabled in Windows XP on the C drive there's a file called hiberfill.sys and when you put your computer in a hibernate mode it stores all of your data from your RAM oops <laughs> It stores all of your data from your RAM in that file and shuts your computer off. That way, you can just resume from the beginning. Not from the beginning, but resume from where you left off when you turn your computer back on. I don't delete this in case for some reason my laptop becomes unplugged and my I don't realize it and my battery runs almost dead. It'll hibernate the system so that I can just resume and then you can also empty your recycle bin which I'm going to do that here uh, system log files which that's usually stuff like uh, this program started up just fine this program had an error most home users don't even know even where to access the system log files and even if they did most basic users don't know how to read it system error memory dump files and the uh, these here which are your error report are just temporary files for if you don't have an internet connection so they can upload to uh, Microsoft and for some reason it didn't clear out on mine after I sent it also set up log files which is exactly that it tells you everything all your settings that have changed anything you've installed if they installed right temporary files it's just for temporary data like it says <laughs> and thumbnails uh, thumbnails is that preview on your videos if you're in the my videos folder or your previews for your pictures if you clear this it takes a little bit longer to reload your thumbnails but it can also speed it up one time I cleared out my computer and it had 32 megabytes of thumbnails it was pretty bad okay after you get done viewing how much you can save and checking what you want to get rid of naturally right here the total amount of disk space you gain for me right now it's 328 megabytes so I'm just gonna hit OK and clean it up and then I'm gonna tell it yes I want to delete the files and like like before this process can take a little bit so I'm gonna pause it okay to show you what differences there are if you select the administrator options I ran the scan through the administrator part pretty much the only difference is you get more system error uh, to clear out 
And that's pretty much it. Now one thing I don't get is the hibernation file cleaner being in your uh, personal file one. When, if I remember right, you need to be an administrator to change the option to turn on and off hibernation. And according to the description, if you shut, if you delete this, it shuts off the hibernation option. Now, I've never actually tried to remove it, like I said, because I actually use hibernation. And I don't have Windows Vista on a desktop computer. Um, and other options for disk cleanup is you can go into more options and you can uh, remove files you don't use which will actually open up uh, I forget what it's called in Windows Vista but in Windows XP it used to be add and remove programs uh, programs and features that's what it's called and you can also clean out some of your system restore points here which that can also save you some information but the system if the only way to clean out system restore is to actually shut it off and then turn it back on which I do every once in a while also to let you guys know I'm using a trial copy of Camtasia Studio 6 so tell me what you guys think about the video quality I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it. I don't see too much of a difference between it and Camtasia Studio 5. 